My name is Jim Thomas and welcome to the Fitness Management Update. Our topic today is five fears that are keeping prospects from your gym. And number one on our list is the fear of feeling stupid. And, you know, this applies to the people that they don't know how a gym works. They don't know how equipment works. And, and as a result, they don't want to feel stupid. They stay away. Number two, it's the fear of feeling isolated. And what happens here is, you know, the view of your prospect, the view of your customer is that all the members know each other. You guys know each other. Everybody knows each other. They're going to walk in there and be the thumb. They're going to be isolated. They're not going to know anybody. As a result, you know, they avoid, you know, that gym experience. Number three is that fear of looking and feeling like a klutz. And, you know, these are the folks that, you know, perhaps uh, when they were in school, when they participated in sports and they participated in athletics, they never did very good at it. And uh, since they don't want to walk in there uh, to your gym and embarrass themselves in their eyes, you know, they stay away from your establishment. Next is that fear of physical anxiety. You know, you know, people that are embarrassed about their bodies. And this doesn't necessarily have to be someone who's overweight or obese. This could be virtually anybody. But that, that fear of, uh, of physical anxiety, you know, any area where they feel like their body might be more visible, um, you know, it's going to cause them to be uncomfortable and it's going to cause them to want to stay away from your gym. And then finally, that fear of being strong armed to join. And I, th I think uh, this is misunderstood a lot of times. I think there's a lot of folks that think they don't strong arm, but in reality they do. And here's how we define that is if you're selling based on features, you're selling based on facility and you're selling based on price and you're continually asking someone to buy, you know, many times that's going to be interpreted the wrong way, you know, whereas there's a proper way to do this and, you know, kind of overriding all of this, you know, one of the struggles that, you know, many gym owners have is that the view that your prospects have is this is where the fit go to get more fit. So when you're doing your marketing, you're doing your promoting, you're doing your networking, you know, make it sure at some level we're addressing these things, you know, subtly and maybe sometimes not so subtly, but make sure these things are being addressed so you open up a wider audience. I mean, what you're not looking to do is to steal from that same 15 to 20% that everybody else is doing. You're not growing the pie that way. My name is Jim Thomas, and this has been the Fitness Management Update.